all heard of a child just 10 years ago who was forced to travel to Indiana for her abortion. But I worry for the stories that do not make the news. I worry for the young woman who knows that continuing a pregnancy will derail her future. I worry about the families who know that having another child is not the right decision for them. I worry about the woman with a very wanted pregnancy miscarrying and finding her life suddenly in danger because she cannot get the care she needs. Make no mistake, if Republicans had their way, this would be a country of forced birth. They've already openly discussed a national abortion ban. When asked about that pregnant 10-year-old, the anti-abortion lawyer said that this child would one day see the benefit of being forced to carry her rapist baby. Can you imagine? They think it's okay that the 10-year-old is raped as long as she produces a baby. That's why we need to pass the Women's Health Protection Act, because every person, no matter what the circumstances, no matter how they become pregnant, deserves dignity, safety, and care in seeking an abortion. You should not have more rights if you get pregnant in California than if you get pregnant in Texas. And most of all, because no one, not the president, not a Supreme Court justice, not members of Congress, should force you to remain pregnant if you do not wish to. That's why we need the Women's Health Protection Act. So thank you, House Democratic Caucus, for your resounding support on today's vote and on Representative Fletcher's bill to protect the right to travel, to seek the health care you need. Our message is loud and clear today. We will keep fighting and we will not go back. And everybody, let's hear it. We will not go back. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much, Judy, for your leadership. And Madam Speaker, thank you so much for your leadership and all of my colleagues gathered here today. Uh, it is, in my beloved home state of Texas, we are in a crisis, a healthcare crisis and a humanitarian crisis. Since last September, as many of you know, access to abortion has been severely limited. And since last month, it has been eliminated. In response, Texans who can do so, the people who have the means to do so, have been traveling out of the state to obtain abortion care, first heading to New Mexico and Oklahoma and Louisiana. And as those states have banned abortion, people are traveling even further. And now, in response to their exercise of their constitutional right to travel, lawmakers and others in Texas and across the country, in other states as well, are threatening to take away that right too. And this is not an exaggeration. This is not hyperbole. This is not a hypothetical situation. Just last week in Texas, a group of lawmakers publicized a letter that they sent to a law firm in Texas threatening the firm and each of its partners with felony criminal prosecution and disbarment because of the firm's policy to reimburse its employees who, for their travel costs associated with traveling out of the state for abortion care. And that is not just Texas, as I said. That's why we are here in the House of Representatives this morning, and what we are doing this morning in the House is so important, because not only do these threats fail to reflect the will of the majority of people in this country who favor a legislative framework that takes into account the complex circumstances of pregnancy that we have just heard from Representative Chu that we hear from our constituents every single day. These threats to the right to travel also fail to reflect the fundamental rights that are granted in our Constitution. 
Congress has the authority and the responsibility today to protect people from these unconstitutional efforts to prevent or restrict, impede, or otherwise to punish people traveling to another state to obtain a legal abortion and to protect the health care providers and the people who help them. This morning, we're doing exactly that in passing the Ensuring Women's Right to Reproductive Freedom Act, and we are protecting the health, privacy, liberty, dignity, and freedom of women and their families across this country in passing the Women's Health Protection Act. I couldn't be more proud to stand here with the speaker, with our caucus, and I thank you all once again for responding with the urgency that is needed to the cruel efforts in my home state of Texas to deprive my fellow Texans and the efforts across the country to deprive our fellow Americans of their constitutional rights by bringing these bills to the floor today. I'm proud to stand with you, and I will stand here with you every day. And at this time, I would like to yield to my original co-sponsor in this bill, Marilyn Strickland. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Representative Chu. Thank you to my friend and mentor, Barbara Lee, for your work on making sure that a woman in America has a right to choose. I am proud to be a co-lead of the Ensuring Women's Right to Reproductive Freedom Act with Lizzie Fletcher and Jamie Raskin. This bill does something that is very simple. It codifies the constitutional right to travel, including crossing state lines to get safe and legal access to abortion. Abortion will not disappear, but we want them to be safe and to be legal. The reality is that an increasing number of women are now forced to carry an unwanted pregnancy against their will, even in the cases of rape or incest, or travel hundreds of miles just to safely receive reproductive health care. We cannot force people to give birth. Worse, those who are forced to carry out an unwanted pregnancy are in the nation with one of the worst maternal mortality rates in the developed world. Taking away federal protections for abortion hits black women, women of color, indigenous women, low-income women, LGBTQ plus women, and women with disabilities the hardest, disproportionately. This is about health care justice. This is about social justice. This is about economic justice. Ripping away our right to safe and legal abortion is yet another way to control us. This is not about choice for them. This is about control. Controlling our bodies, policing our bodies, and controlling us. And make no mistake, we will do everything in our power to make sure it does not happen, not on our watch. Thank you. Thank you, Congresswomen Judy Chu, Lizzie Fletcher, and Marilyn Strickland for your leadership and for your presentations. My friends, House Democrats are here on the steps of the United States Capitol, next to the Senate, across from the Supreme Court, to loudly declare hands off of our reproductive health. As in Republicans in Congress, the courts, and across the country seek to punish and control women, Democrats are honoring the basic truth. Women's most intimate health decisions are her own. I'm so proud of our Democrats in the House uh, for their unity on this subject, their leadership on this subject. But as I've said many times before, our inside maneuvering is very important, but it only takes us so far. It's the outside mobilization that makes the greatest difference. So I'm happy to welcome so many of our friends from outside groups who are engaged in the mobilization. Uh, the, the alphabet from A to Z, but I'll mention Catholics for Choice all the way to the YWCA, and in between uh, the National Latina Institute for Reproductive Health and uh, the uh, National Council of Jewish Women. The list goes on and on. People of faith, representative of all of us in our community, here for families, for families. And so uh, we go, will go to the floor and vote on these bills. Americans outside are marching and making their voices heard. And as we know, as I just said, public sentiment is everything. Abraham Lincoln. And as we pass this landmark legislation today, Democrats will not stop ferociously defending freedom for women and for every American. And we want everybody to know 
women out there who are concerned about their own personal reproductive freedom and what it means to their health, that from the, the message from the House Democrats and our groups here today is we are not going back. We are not going back. We're 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 not going back. And now we're going to vote. <laughs>